Hey, what is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and today we're going to be doing a cool little outside landscape audio project. We're going to be utilizing some rock speakers as well as some off-wall, all-weather speakers that we're going to put up underneath the eaves as well as a Sonos play bar. So it's going to be an interesting little setup. Let me show you the exact products that I'm using here. So here are the rock speakers. I'm using the Episode ES Rock DVC 8 in sandstone color, which will match their rocks that they have around the waterfall very nicely. We're also going to be using the ES 500 all weather, six inch in black. And what we're going to be doing is mounting those up underneath the eaves over here and then we're going to be putting two speakers back here on each side firing towards the pool and then the customer is going to have a little fire pit back here behind the waterfall right here and we're going to put two facing towards the fire pit that is going to be there that way he can independently control every single zone right from the sonos app we're going to put Sonos amps on every single zone and then out here underneath the covered patio I'm going to be putting in a 65 inch TV with the Sonos play bar because this was not wired very well um, The customer didn't consult with me prior so we didn't Have the ability to pre-wire and put our in ceilings in but the Sonos play bar will do the trick It is wired for coax and cat cable which we're gonna go ahead and take that cat cable and tip it and throw a wireless extender on to give us nice Wi-Fi coverage out to this part of the home. You see you got Grayson here with me today working and um, we're gonna get all our lines ran and get everything hooked up to the amps and get this backyard rocking and rolling. Thanks for watching guys. Grayson show me your speaker man. Dude, check out my rocks. <laughs> Pretty cool. These are uh, DVC dual voice coil, is meaning they have two tweeters in there. Might be able to see. Um, and this is an 8 inch woofer, which will give them a nice mid range throughout the space. I really like Episode. They make a really good quality product. Uh, you can see it's all sealed up nice and tight from the elements, even the screws. So you don't have to worry about this guy getting rained on, splashed by the pool, any of that. All right, check it out, guys. I got my lines ran around the pool deck. And what we're going to be doing is taking all of the lines, direct burial, right down the side yard here, and then around to the side of the house, and then up in conduit, that conduit right there, up the side into the master closet smart panel, where we're going to set the Sonos amps. Alright guys, we're making progress. You can see we got our lines put in for our rock speakers. Got one out here firing towards the pool. And then this other one back here, which is going to be firing towards this fire pit area, which is going to be here. And then our lines are ran all the way around. And there's another one for the fire pit. And then lastly, our other one for the pool. All right, check it out guys. Grayson just put a hole under the here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our bracket mounted on the wall or on the ceiling and get our line ran. We're gonna be using this outdoor wire and our outside speakers. Not a very nice day today, but this is going to be nice to use when the weather is shining. All right, you guys can see what's going on here. Basically, I just drilled a hole here in the eave and we put the line on a fish rod and Grayson went up in the attic and grabbed it. So he's just pulling that back to our home run. And we're actually doing two of these out here. 
here and this one over here as well which we already got ran this is outdoor wire too just to be safe keep everything lasting as long as it possibly can the texas heat really gets the wire um you can see we got all our lines bundled together for our rock speakers as well which we're going to run up a different location around the side of the house Ooh, check it out we are in business grace has got that one mounted looking sharp oh nice all right once you get your bracket mounted there you're just going to push your excess wire up into the attic space and then your speaker will click right into place as grayson's about to demonstrate with his behind the back slam dunk speaker that's maneuver boys yeah here we go click 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 boom it's not in on this side whoa, whoa. oh wow now we're in business <laughs> you could say that all right that looks sharp gray yeah it does. Look, look at that man <laughs> you're gonna put your little screws in here on the side tighten it down maybe aim it towards the, the ground a little more nah Oh yeah, right there, that's perfect. Nah. If you guys are noticing, there's also some ring floodlight cams back here. These are pretty cool. Give yourself some surveillance. Make sure you, you can keep your eye on those kids. All right guys, we're nearing the end here. We just got all the lines ran over here to the side and we're putting a piece of conduit up on the wall just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then we're gonna shoot it into this hole up there that we just drilled in the eve and grayson's gonna grab this line for me and we're gonna get it shot down into the closet all right guys check it out we got our tube up on the wall all the wires inside of it and we even siliconed up around the top there to make sure that it's completely sealed and now the landscapers can come behind us and bury this line but we uh put some concrete acres in so this tube's nice and secure all right ladies and gentlemen moving on to our next act mounting a tv on the patio you can see we're going to be using the q6f this is the base model qled from samsung it does the job up underneath a patio like this here's where it's going to go and you can see we already tested our lines making sure everything's good we're going to be putting this sonos play bar which is also not outdoor rated outside what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and we're gonna be using a sanus full motion bracket i say janus model what does that say blf 228-b1 this guy can swivel tilt move and all the different directions full motion plus Ooh. so you can hit it over there at the hammock you can hit it here on the day bed Make sure your viewing is on point. Sweet. So guys, whenever you need some audio on your patio TV, and you're not going to the extent of, you know, actually getting outdoor equipment, Sono Soundbar. It's cheap, and it sounds good, and no wires required. You just plug it in, optical out of the TV, and you're ready to rock and roll. It's got speakers here on the sides, as well as speakers all the way across the top here. It's a good little bar. You guys have been seeing me use this for years now. I uh, am a huge fan of Sonos. And it's not outdoor rated, but you know, typically they last a bit. Now, we are going to put on the soundbar attachment. This will allow the TV to move right along with the soundbar. All right guys, check it out. You can see we now have our Sonos play bar attached to these arms, which are screwed into the back of the TV and the full motion mount from Sanus. So now this is all one piece that can be maneuvered around towards the customer's target seating area, depending on where they are out here. I think uh, this, is, this is gonna look real good for them. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes into the flagstone back here and get our 
masonry anchors in there so that the back bracket is secured to the stone and then we can get the TV hung up. Here's one suggestion guys, if you're doing this at home, get yourself a fresh bit because concrete, stone, it's hard. And if you don't have a fresh bit, it makes your life not very fun. We got our mount up here nice and level. As always. Whoop. As always. <laughs> Grayson's going to be demonstrating to us today how to ensure that your TV will not fall off the wall. If you can do a pull up, you're probably good to go. This is the dream media difference. Hey, we're putting the TV on the wall. <laughs> TV. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. All right, let's go. Switch inside. Ready? Yep. Perfect. All right, guys, check it out. We got all of our devices zip tied up behind the TV. There's quite a few things going on back here, but all in all, I'm happy with how it turned out. You can see we got our cat cable, cat six, and our coax coming in, and then we got our power line all fed up and around through so that the mount can swing. And then this is an access point the customer supplied, and there's no other data connection out here, so we just zipped it to the back of the TV. It's not the best place to put one, but uh, it definitely gets the job done. And then uh, surge protection and the Sonos bar, everything's hardwired with ethernet just to make sure it performs as quickly as possible. Ooh, so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dream Media, flexing on them. We're the best. Samsung. I'll have to say, uh, if you're gonna put a TV outside, at least the QLED is nice and bright. Not as bright as a true outdoor TV, but it's affordable and bright. Can't beat it. Okay guys, so this is the location um, where we are going to keep all of the Sonos amps coming from the outside. This is for the uh, first set of rock speakers. This is gonna be for the second set of rock speakers. And this is gonna be for the all weathers mounted under the eave and everything is just coming down through this smart panel and then I'm gonna hardwire it into the router here. These are 125 watts of channel, the, the newest version called the Sonos Amp. And this will integrate in with the rest of the Sonos network. What is up guys, it's Zach and we just finished up this project. This backyard is rocking. So I'm gonna show you, give you a recap on what we did here today. We got the uh, Q6 mounted up here over the fireplace with the Sonos play bar, which is independently controllable so they can play their music throughout this entire space. And we got this on a Santa's full motion bracket so they can pull it out and rotate it over towards the hammock whenever they're chilling. Or if they want to rotate it over here towards the day bed while they're chilling. This is a chill zone out here. And if you uh, face over here, this is our concert hall. We have several rock speakers hooked up throughout the entire space. So we got rock speakers here firing into the pool area. Yeah, do you want to show them, Gray? Landscapers will be back later to bury these lines. But you can see we have one here, and on the other side we have another one. So when you're in the pool, you can crank just those two speakers, which is really nice. And then back here, they're gonna be putting in a fire pit, which is still under construction. But this is gonna give the homeowner the ability to come out here at night when the kids are sleeping and they can just turn on these two speakers alone. Or when they're partying, they can have the entire place rocking. So let me show you what else we got. Another rock speaker. And these are dual voice coil, meaning they have two tweeters in them and eight inch whoopers. So they'll still give them a little bit of mid range. Another rock speaker firing towards the pool. And then over here, by the hot tub, we put a couple more under the eaves. This customer did call us a little bit late, so we weren't able to pre-wire a couple uh, right next to the hot tub, but we compensated. In a minute, I'll play this system for you. I mean, this thing really does bump. Um, and the customer was just blown away by the clarity of the system as well. 
especially considering the space we're working with. So this is another zone, actually two zones. They can control these two speakers separate from these two in ceiling speakers. So whenever they're out here drilling out, they can get their balance just right. So I'm gonna play a quick demo for you guys just to kind of show it off. Um, we can only do it 30 seconds because we're on YouTube, but this will give you an idea of what you can expect out of a system that we would put in for you. And you can see all the different areas laid out. Hot tub, cabana, fire pit, patio, patio two, and pool. We are jamming! <laughs> well, if Robin Thicke didn't get you going, I hope this video did. Give me a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe down below. If you'd like us to do something like this for you and you live in Dallas, we'd be happy to. And if you need the products and you live somewhere else in the States, we can ship it to you for free with a low price guarantee. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.